Hey everybody, Rebecca back for another video. If you are new here, maybe coming over from Rachel Lynn's channel. Thanks Rachel for the shout out, really appreciate that. Um, my name's Rebecca, I am on YouTube to document my journey um, getting out of debt and to reach FIRE, financial independence, retire early. If any of that interests you, then you know what to do. Scroll down a little bit and hit that subscribe button for me. Today's video topic, we are going to do a check-in on my M1 accounts. I opened up a general investing account and a Roth IRA with M1 last month. It's been about five weeks now since I opened these accounts, so we're going to take a look at them and see how much they've grown and how they're doing. So we'll get right into it. Starting out first here, we are going to be looking at my general investing account. This is the Questifier account. As you can see, I've had a little bit of growth here. I've contributed about $150. $10 of that was the referral that I got for using someone else's link to sign up with M1. I have a link down in the description box below if y'all want to do that as well. They're running a special where you get $20 right now if you sign up with a referral link and they'll also give me $20 too. So y'all can see the growth here has been pretty good. Um, you can tell when I put in the $10 every Monday and um, I've earned a few dividends as well, which is nice. And overall my growth is better than what I would have gotten in a savings account for the last month. So I'm happy with that. All right, now we will take a look at Tesla. As you can see, Tesla is making a nice rebound here. They're up 19%. So I've earned uh, $5.49 from holding some stock with Tesla. I plan on holding them for the long term. Really happy about this return so far. You can see the chart is on the way up there. That's great. And the overall return here is 19.23%. That is pretty darn nice for Tesla. Next, we will take a look at the cannabis ETF I have, YOLO. This one has been in the red since I have started investing in it, but that's okay. This is another one that I am in for the long term. I really think that over the long run, Cannabis is going to take a big jump up at some point. So since I'm holding for the long term, I'm just going to keep investing with them. I'll keep putting in my um, $10 weekly. And you know what? If they're in the red, then I'm getting to buy in on that ETF at a cheaper price. So I do plan on keeping this YOLO in my general investing for a while. Lastly, we'll look at the SPHD. That is a dividend um, variation that I did. There's an ETF for a low volatility, high dividend yield on M1 that you can choose to invest with called SPHD. I have taken the companies that are in SPHD. I've removed some of them and gave them my own asset allocation. Um, and overall, this portfolio is down to but the reason I made my own variation of the SPHD was to get rid of the expense ratio. So I have my own little dividend portfolio here now with zero expense ratio instead of just investing into that ETF. So here we're looking through the individual companies. You can see um, the ones that I have more heavily weighted up top. Some of them are up, some of them are down. And as we scroll down, you can see the rest of the companies that are in this slice of my pie. And some of them are up, some of them are down as well, but there's pretty good diversification in here. The companies that I took out of this SPHD were some tobacco companies. I just didn't want to invest there personally. And then I took out some REITs from this profile as well because I wanted all of the dividends coming in this dividend portfolio here to be uh, qualified dividends. And if you invest in REITs, they are unqualified dividends, which are taxed differently than a qualified dividend. So again, all of these companies are invest in and hold long term for me. So that is the plan for all of them. Question for my fellow dividend investors out there with M1. 
Do you opt to leave the auto investing option on and just let M1 um, put in however much money you're investing every week and keep your asset allocation constant? Or do you turn your auto investing off and then choose to buy the companies in your pie individually? I've seen um, some people do that. They turn it off so that way they can choose to put their money into companies that are in the red so that way they can buy the stocks that are on sale so to speak and um, dollar cost average down their price in to that stock let me know down below what you do i've been considering turning off the auto invest option and just investing in the individual companies that i choose every week and if my asset allocation gets too out of whack, then I can always go back to the auto investing. But yeah, if you invest with M1 and do dividends, let me know what you do down in the comment section below. All right, next we will look at my Roth IRA. Not right now, M1. Yes, I enjoy it. I will rate later. So as you can see here, my Roth IRA is doing well. It is up. So far, I have invested $1,750 of my own money into this account and there's a pretty good growth here i'm uh, happy with that you may have noticed the little gray section of my pie there i have added in something to this roth ira i put in down at the bottom there the vanguard reit vnq it's an etf by vanguard for reits now while i have avoided reits in my dividend in my general investing account with M1, I decided to add in some REITs for my Roth IRA because my goal for this Roth IRA is to get as much good growth as I can. And also adding in some REITs here will help diversify my overall portfolio. I'm also gonna link to a video that Our Rich Journey put out recently down in the description box below. Go check that one out. They did a really, really good video about REITs and um, they actually talked about that Vanguard REIT um, V&Q specifically in that video. So yeah, I'll link to that below. Y'all check that out. But as far as my Roth IRA here overall, my total stock market is up and my value small cap ETF is down a little bit and my regular small cap ETF by Vanguard is up a little bit. This entire account for me is buy and hold. I will keep shoveling money into this account and just watch it grow over time. Overall, um, the gain is pretty good here. So yeah, I'm just going to keep putting money in. My goal is to get 6000 in this account by the end of the year. That way I can max out the Roth for 2019. And then in 2020, I will start all over again and focus on maxing out the Roth for 2020. Okay, that brings us to my investing slash fire tracking portion of my budget. I've updated it to reflect the current balances of those M1 accounts. So overall this month, I had planned to invest $50 into my general account. I've budgeted for $50, although we still have um, a couple of Mondays to go for the month. So um, I still have 20 bucks left to invest in the account. Um, the Roth IRA, I planned on putting in 850. That's what I did. My savings account, that I don't contribute to still earns a penny or two of interest every month. So I've got that one penny in there and its balance is sitting at 26 bucks and six cents. And my 403B at work, I've only gotten one paycheck so far this month. So, so far to my 403B, I've contributed $247 and five cents and my work has matched $141.17. The um, 403B currently sits at $46,820.16. So overall, so far for the month, my savings rate is sitting at 37.4%. And my overall um, financial independence number, I am a little over 4% of the way to financial independence. The number that I chose to be my financial independence number is 1.2 million. If I can reach that, then I will feel comfortable enough to do the RE portion of FIRE, which is retire early. 
All right, guys, that should wrap it up for this video. It's about time for me to go in and clock in for the night. So I will get this video edited and uploaded. I think that um, I'll do this type of video once a month. We'll just take a look at my um, M1 accounts and see how they're doing and see how much they're growing. So if you like this video, then scroll down and give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.